Hey everybody, Beaker here. Uh, so a few of my friends, uh, both online and my coworkers, said that I should document this process on my YouTube channel for anyone that might want to know or just for my experience myself about uh, getting high-speed internet uh, installed at my mother-in-law's house, which is where I live now. Um, right now, uh, my mother-in-law has satellite broadband, which if you're a technical person like me, uh, that is not very good internet. Um, it's decent speed, but there's a bandwidth cap and because of the inherent use of satellite, um, it is very latent. Uh, its ping and jitter rates are very high, so it's not a very good connection for like VoIP or uh, VPN usage if you're working from home, etc. So if you look over here, you'll see the satellite over there. That's where it is. And it's not very good. Uh, our bandwidth cap is 50 gigabytes uh, per month, which if you go beyond that cap, you go to uh, maybe a little faster than dial-up speeds uh, for the rest of the month until it resets. So, three years ago, uh, when we first moved here, uh, I started looking around at high-speed options. And, I thought maybe DSL at first. Uh, DSL is not here. There is no single line DSL. There is no bonded copper DSL either. So the phone lines, even though they're Verizon, uh, they're owned by, or leased or whatever, by some third party company you never heard of. They don't have DSL option. Uh, cell phone signal, like for a hotspot or a, uh, a mobile device into home internet, uh, is a no-go because our signal in this area where I live is too weak to carry it. It might do a cell phone signal, but not enough for a broadband modem. So, the only option is uh, Spectrum high-speed internet. Uh, which three years ago, they did not have at this location when we first moved here. It's only been recently that I found out that broadband was available here. Originally, um, when I last checked it three years ago, they were only offering about 50 megs of internet as a, the highest it could go. But now, three years later, they've improved their infrastructure enough where this area is getting gigabit speeds. Oh my God. I have never had gigabyte speeds in my life. Um, I've never experienced it. I've never done it. So I call up Spectrum and this was a few months ago. I call up Spectrum and I know my address is not serviceable because I don't have a line to my house. I'm like, okay, I know this. Call up Spectrum and they say, okay, we'll come out and see what we can do. They're like, okay. Come, they come out to the house while I'm gone, check it out. And they say, yeah, your house isn't serviceable because it's too far from the street. And if you look behind me, that's my driveway. That driveway is about 300 feet from the street to the house, which you can see the street and the fiber lines are here on the side road. So they're like, okay, the line's not serviceable. How do we make it serviceable? And it's like, well, 300 feet is too long for us to do it manually. So we're going to have to put buried cable from the street post over here to the house line. And so we'll have to have a, a survey done on the land to see, you know, what they need and how much it's going to cost. And I was like, okay. So I set that up 
It came out in two days. Two days later, they did the survey, did the line. I get a call from Spectrum. It was like, okay, we can make your house serviceable for broadband, but it's going to have a co-payment for the buried line of three thousand dollars. I was like, wow. Okay, I'll call you back. And yeah, that's where we are right now. So it's going to take me three thousand dollars for Spectrum to run a line out from the pole over here. Either that one close to me or the one over there. I think probably the one over there, since that's got the cable line going through it. Uh, to that pole, all the way to my house, way down there. But it is gigabit speeds. I've never had it before. I desperately need it now especially with the coronavirus and COVID-19 going around. We're at the point now where they're starting to close schools and stuff, which means my son and my daughter will be at home. They're going to be needing the broadband. We've gone over bandwidth many times during the months. And it's at a point now where it's going to be a necessity at this point. So I got to save up that money, get it somehow, somewhere. Um, I have to get my wife involved in it so that we can get her on board. And of course, my mother-in-law, who, you know, actually lives here, owns the place, to get her on board with it, which she probably would have no problem with. The wife, I got to convince, because if I'm going to get this $3,000... Uh, we're going to probably have to pay for it ourselves. So we'll figure it out. Hopefully I'll be able to do that and get something going probably within the next few weeks or so. I don't know. Uh, we'll see what happens. And uh, I'm, I'm desperate. I need to get this done. My geek and my nerd and my tech in me is freaking out of this. That's going to cost this much. But... I need to have it done for the sake of me, my online gaming, my Twitch, my YouTube, everything that I want to do. I want to do live streaming. I want to do everything that I can. Again, I used to do it a long time ago with my buddy, my friends. I haven't been able to do it since I moved here three years ago. So I got to do something and I'm going to have to figure something out because without this line, we're not getting high speed internet and with the phone lines and the cable and our cell phone options out spectrum's the only choice i got um there's no there's no green light there's no uh there's no fiber out here nothing like that cables should be fine you gigabit speeds that's perfect so i gotta figure something out